welcome back to another day of vlogmas i'm actually getting my bag ready for a little outing we're going to go to the mall today i wanted to go shopping for some christmas presents and also some things that i need i made an, a list on my phone that way i kind of stick to the budget and kind of like stick to the plan you know how malls can be you just go in there you just want to get everything but i need a couple of things so i thought i would just run to the mall really quickly because I need some very important essentials. Um, so first store I want to go to is Aritzia. I want to go get another hat. You guys know I wear the black one all the time. I want to maybe get another one like a different tone shade. So I want I want a hat. These aren't like essentials. Just these that the things that I really need for like my closet. So. And winter is coming, I have short hair now, I need to figure it out because it's cold. I also need a coat. I've been trying to build my coat collection. Um, I got this really nice coat, sorry. I got this really nice coat the other day um, from Eileen Fisher. I'm not sure if I spoke about this coat or not, but I wore it in my last vlog. It's by Eileen Fisher. It's not reversible. A lot of you guys were asking me if it was. Um, it looked like it could be, but it's not. I wish it was. It would have been like such a good buy if it were, but it's not. It's literally just a black coat or like a dark gray on the exterior, and then it has the gray on the inside, which I love. I actually picked this coat up from Nordstrom Rack, and um, it was originally, I think it was originally like $7.99. It was on sale for like two something, so a great steal. I love it. Um, it doesn't have like a, a proper collar, and it's more of a casual coat actually. Well, to some people this might not be casual, but it's like such a long coat and it's wool and cashmere. And let me just say, buying a coat with like really good material like wool and cashmere, it's such a warm coat. Even though it's like thin kinda and like, you know, it keeps me so warm. Like the, the entire, the portion of my body that this coat is covering stays extremely warm so i really really like it and i got so many compliments on the coat again i picked it up from nordstrom racks so i'll leave a link to it down below for you but i love it and it has a little tie um thing here which kind of like you know could give it like a more dressier vibe and the things are reversible as well so yeah that's pretty much what this coat looks like i love it i just love just throwing this on for like a quick outing love it um so i need a i need another wool coat i'm gonna start investing in really good coats because now that i kind of see what a real coat is supposed to feel like i've been in the states for 10 years now and i've never owned a wool coat or a coat of quality i've just been buying like very cheapy cheapy coats and i'm always freezing i don't even need to layer under that coat and i'm warm that's how good the fabric is like just wool so i'm gonna get like a really nice wool coat i know aritzia has a few that's why i'm gonna look there but aritzia prices can sometimes be a little bit crazy so if i don't find something there i'm gonna go to bloomingdale's and um just see what they have and then i also wanted a pair of jeans but my friends over at Ma and Bo sent me a pair of jeans i'm so excited so Ma and Bo actually watched my closet essentials video where I spoke about the dark wash jeans and how I had to fold the hem up because it's like frayed and blah 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 and they were like they reached out and they're like hey girl would we have you send you another pair of jeans without the frayed hem how nice is that I'm so blessed to have been able to just, just work with such great brands and this isn't sponsored or anything they're just really amazing people they watch my videos and they wanted to send me some like essentials for my closet like so nice i worked with this brand maybe a year and a half ago and just like awesome i'm so blessed to have just been working with really great brands that i truly love and i'm so happy to share them with you but let me show you they sent me another pair of their jane jeans i have their jane jeans when i tell you these jeans make the booty look so good i'm gonna try these on you guys know i hate trying on clothes when i'm not gonna be wearing them but but i'm gonna try these jeans on for you these are their jane jeans and i believe this is the shade medium blue their jeans are just so they got it right they got it right she literally asked me my size and i gave her my size off rip everything and the jeans are here and it's perfect 
I got a size waist 27 and the inseam 30 because my legs are kind of long. So I'm gonna try these on really quickly, BRB. Okay, so here we have the jeans on. It's in this medium blue shade. I love this color so much. The front pockets are real, which is so rare these days and it's so annoying. Like we need front pockets, okay? All these jeans brands out there, we need front pockets. It gives your butt a nice little lift, which is so welcomed because you guys know I'm not like the most curvaceous person, but I love the jeans. They give my butt a nice little lift and the best part, they come down to the ankles. Such a blessing. I love that. So Mott and Bo, thank you for sending me these jeans. I absolutely love them. So I decided to change and wear this um, brown coat instead because I am going to be wearing this like brown toned scarf. So the Eileen Fisher coat just wasn't pairing well with it. So it's just like this brown coat. Um, this like multi-tone like brown scarf from Zara. Then my Ugg boots and... I definitely feel like I need earrings, so let me just pop some in really quickly. These are my diamond earrings from Majuri. They're really tiny. They barely even show. I'm still using my little Majuri jewelry case. So convenient. All right, we're all set. Let's go. stuff tried on i have you guys propped up so i'm down here um i told her i wanted a wool coat so she brought me a couple options i love coming here because they know my name and everything and they always just get a room started they're so nice in here she chose this brown one which i already know i'm not gonna like because i don't like this kind of fabric um this one is like a gray one um i don't know how i feel about these things on the the sleeves so i might not even like these either but i'm gonna try them on because you know this one i really really liked i saw it randomly and then this one looks okay too i'll just give them a try though and see what they look like but yeah let's get these on this is the first coat um the shade is really beautiful especially against my brown skin very very beautiful makes a melanin pop really flattering color um, I just don't really see myself like wearing the shade a lot based on my wardrobe right now And I also don't like these things on the sleeve. I just feel like they're a little bit too loud But yeah Coat number one This one's about This one is really long Everything's going okay Yeah, I'm gonna put two out in a minute Nails. Thank you. Holiday season. I know. I feel like now I'm like really into brown. Also, this is like the one time of year I do do red, but I'm missing the nude. On the holidays, I always do bright red. It's <laughs> like the classic. No, yeah. And that's the only color that I really do because then I do like beige, like white or black. Oh, yeah. Like I don't really <laughs> Same. This is a great coat. This one is giving me Gossip Girl vibes. It's very oversized, so this is what it looks like. Okay. These are for the girls who are just like naturally chic and fashionable. Not for me. Tried on this contour top. I love it. I didn't buckle it though, but I love the neckline gonna pair perfect with like a coat like this also in this white t-shirt so I decided to just get this coat here um, this bodysuit is a must it looks so gorgeous um, this white t-shirt but I need to find another one because the threads kind of loose and these jeans are so beautiful they're like a more of a lighter acid kind of wash definitely a vibe and it's also on sale so yeah then I'm just gonna get this belt I'm not taking those so, 
Guys, so it's two days later. I didn't film after the mall because I wanted to clean out my closet before I showed you guys the new things. But anyways, I have a playlist on my channel with all of my vlogs, right? So if you guys ever wanted to watch my vlogs, you guys can just go watch all of my week weekly vlogs. Dating back to the very first one I did, which was... When did I film this? A year ago, exactly. So I'm watching my older vlogs and for some reason I started getting like really emotional from watching them Because it's like it's only a year ago, but I'm so much different now. It's like only a year ago, but I'm like completely different um, I was in such a different headspace in this video than I was Like look at me you guys this was a year ago You know, just filming on my iPhone, just... And look at my hair, you guys. Also wearing one of the necklaces that... <laughs> See my hair now, like, on camera? It was actually... It was actually pretty nice. Anyways, I was just thinking back to like the headspace that I was in when these vlogs were being filmed. I was in such a different place in life and just like so sad and like insecure and just, aw, baby Tave. I was just telling Renee the other day that I'm so happy that I'm vlogging. Um, and even though I'm such I'm such a private person and sometimes I get kind of like iffy with the vlogs and stuff because I'm like, am I sharing too much? Am I saying too much? Am I showing too little? Am I saying too little? Like, you know, I go back and forth. But I'm so happy that I'm vlogging because, see, I'm watching myself from a year ago. And I'm just so, like, so proud of myself for the growth. And not on YouTube alone, but, like, the growth within myself. Because being on YouTube, you guys, I really learned a lot of lessons. I really learned a lot about myself. I really learned about... I really learned that I'm so much stronger than I thought I was a year ago. The stuff that reached me this this year, especially the stuff that reached me in 2020. Why am I crying? The stuff that reached me in 2020, like you know, life stuff, and then the stuff that I've dealt with, like from being online, girl. If you had told me in that video that this was what's, what was going to happen, I would have quit. I would have quit because I would not have thought I could have handled it. But, <laughs> Whew. let me tell you. Let me tell you something. You are so much stronger than you really know. I said this already. If I survive this year, I can survive anything. Anything. 2021, bring it. Bring it. Decided to do a haul now because I had to clean up my closet before I put anything new in there. I always, I hate putting like brand new clothes into like a dirty closet, unorganized closet. So I didn't do the haul yet. So I'm going to do it now from the other day when I went to the mall. So I ended up getting everything that I really wanted. So I'm very excited about that. So as you guys can see, I mainly went to Aritzia because they gave me this big old bag. I actually don't like this lighting in here. So I'm going to go to the living room because... I just don't like how washed out I look. All right. As I was saying, I decided to just get the Air Force Ones because I just felt like they just fit my feet so nicely and it was such a vibe. I definitely really, really like them. I got them in a size 6. I usually wear a size 7, but they are so cute. Very summer vibes though, but I'm gonna care. All right, on to Aritzia. I got a couple things from Aritzia. The first thing I got was this coat. You guys saw me try this coat on in the store. I decided to go with this tan one here only because I have a lot of dark wash coats like grays, browns, like that kind of shade. So I really wanted something along the line of um, like beige or like a nudie pink. So I'm very happy that I got this one. I do have a winter haul coming soon where I'm going to try everything on you guys very, very soon. I will try this coat on though for the heck of it. I think it's very um, a really nice flattering cut. Um, it's not too like structured. It still has that casual vibe to it. 
It also has like buttons on the side so you can, you know, clasp it should you feel the need to for like a more, you know, like tailored look. But it's still pretty loose and, you know, casual at the same time. Also from Aritzia, I picked up this belt. I don't have a good belt, which is so crazy. I only have those like little tiny skinny belts, you know, that you get from like Target and stuff. And those are just not like, I can't use those belts anymore, you know. I need like a, a big bodied, like thick leather belt. And these are like leather belts. So they're very good quality and they had the different ones with either like a gold buckle or a silver buckle or this one here. So they did have like a more yellowy gold but I decided not to get that only because I don't like when my metals are clashing a lot. So I like a more muted antique gold. It just goes a lot better with anything I wear. The next thing I got from Aritzia was this little white t-shirt. Um, I love their t-shirts there whenever I go in Aritzia, I pick up a t-shirt because I just feel like their t-shirts are just such good quality They're so soft and even though I love the ones from Riona Sometimes I want something that's a bit more loose fitting So I just got this Next one thing I got from Aritzia was this bodysuit and I think I'm gonna go back in stores and get some other shades I Absolutely love the fit of it even against my skin tone right now on the camera. It looks so nice. I love these kind of like muted nude basic colors and the quality guys what I touched when I felt the bodysuit I was like oh very nice quality when I put it on the the cinching this listen I like when clothes have some sort of compression to it because you know what I'm not like in my best shape of my life but I'm gonna get there like no worries but I like when clothes have some sort of compression to it because it really just grabs everything and smooths it out. Clothes that have a, that's why I love the Riona top so much cause that compression honey. The compression is just unmatched. I love that. I also got a pair of jeans. I know I said I was not gonna get any jeans in in there because I got the one from Mott and Beau, but this is a lighter wash jeans that I don't own. I've always wanted like a light pair of jeans like this and I've never like, I don't own one. And they come all the way down to the ankles, which is one of my favorite things. Like, morning guys. So today is Friday. Friday at currently 9.11 a.m. So, um, yesterday, I think you guys saw me do like the Aritzia haul and stuff. So today's the next day. I am getting ready to head into the city. I have a couple things to handle there. Um, I need to go to the consul the Jamaican consulate or something like that. I need to pick up some paperwork. I need to go return a couple things to Zara. All the things you see on the bed here. I need to return to Zara. I also need to run into Nordstrom. I need to pick up my mom's um, um, Christmas present. So I need to go get that. And I probably want to go to Sephora because Fenty Beauty just dropped like the gloss bomb creams or something. I want to try out a few shades. So I'm going to just go do that today. I'm kind of stressed right now because it's like, oh, I just have so much to do, you guys. Like today's the first day I'm really like feeling the effects of like Vlogmas, like creating content and uploading every single day. I was just telling Renee yesterday, like, oh my god, I feel like I'm doing so well with the Vlogmas. I'm not even stressed. Today, I feel so stressed. Only because my video for today isn't ready to be uploaded yet, and I have all these errands to run. And just, like, I'm just, like, annoyed, to be honest. Like, Anyways, I wanted to bring this bag because it matches my outfit better. So I'm just going to switch over, like, the stuff. And I also have a wax at 9.30. It's 9.30 now. I got a wax at 9.30. So I have to also go there before I can go into the city. I have one bag of stuff I gotta do. One bag of stuff. And I need a wax. So I really can't skip that. Because, like, I can't. I'm so... Oh. I hate being... I hate having hair on my body. So I can't skip that wax. And also, I lost my debit card. I don't know where it went. I can't find it. So I had to get a new card replacement and wherever my credit card was lost at, like some purchases were made that weren't mine and it's like I'm dealing with that too. It's just like, but it's okay though. Like I just feel like, you know, shit happens, whatever. 
but like it, it's happening at the worst time because i don't have time to be on the phone with the bank right now to be going over charges which i already did i did that early this morning and then i filed a claim and then they are investigating and then you know everything but it's like i have a wax in 15 minutes just just everything is going on like everything is going on i also need a proper wallet because this is the third time i'm losing my card and it's because i don't know if when i put my card in here it just drop off drop to the side i don't know what's been going on to be fair but i just can't so i'm gonna i'm gonna look into getting a proper wallet like one that I can have like card slots, one to put coins in. I'm going to still obviously use this key clay thing. Or I might just retire this, just put this to the side and just have my keys attached to like an... I don't know. I need a wallet that can accommodate keys, you know, like have keys on it because I need my keys. And I don't want to have like a different keychain. I just want to have everything together like this. So I'm going to look into getting a wallet... Um, I really want one from Louis Vuitton, but I was telling myself, and I told you guys too, like I'm done with buying designer things. Like I need to start saving my money and invest it into like my new goals and stuff. So I might just get like a regular one, but I don't even know where to start looking. If you guys know any good wallets, it can be like great quality, like genuine leather and stuff, because I want something that's gonna last. Doesn't have to be name brand, but just let me know if you know anything. What else I need from this bag? I'll just bring a spray and a chapstick. so my wax appointment was really really quick thank god i was kind of worried because i don't know for some reason it's just been hurting a lot lately and the waxer i have is just um she like yanks it in like stages so like so it hurts more to me anyways i stopped by starbucks to get a cup of tea and a sandwich because i wasn't able to make any breakfast so yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm waiting for my train. It should be here in like 10 minutes. So, yeah, just waiting on that. So, I'll see you guys when I board the train and stuff. I'm just going to try to eat something because I'm starving. Hey guys, so I am back home. It was a very quick little outing. Well, not really. It's five o'clock now. I've been home for like 20 minutes, but I got a lot done. Like I really had a game plan. I got what I had to do done. Had my wax appointment at 9.30. My train left the station at 10.30. I was in the city by like 11.10. I was able to return the items at Zara. I even popped into Eritrea for a little bit. Then after that, I went to Dwayne Reed to pick up some stuff that I actually needed from the drugstore. Then back on my train back to New Jersey. On the train, I decided that, you know what, let me go to the nail salon because I really needed a fill. My nails just grows out so fast and because I'm wearing a red nail polish, it's just way more obvious like even now i'm making a ton of reels and i can just clearly see the gap and you guys know how i am about my hands and my nails i'm so ocd so i went for a fill and i got a neutral color this time around i got like a neutral shade so it's like a very neutral pinky white shade and i have the exact same color on my toes and this shade is called marshmallow gin but 
because I have a pink base gel, it has a different kind of shade. So it's not really exactly what Marshmallow Gin looks like. But yeah, so I got a lot done. I actually just checked the mail too. That's AJ's. And this is from a company that Coster told me about. It's called Asian Cosmetics. It's a brand that I've seen on Instagram a lot, but they use a lot of celebrities to promote them. And I was always like wary. But Coster has beautiful skin, and this is the skincare line she uses. So that's kind of like what sold me. So I picked up the Perfectly Even Skin, and it's a face wash. And it's supposed to help with hyperpigmentation. Then I picked up this Even Skin Healthy Glow. And this is just a body oil. I'm a huge fan of body oils. So I just got the body oil. Then I picked up this. What is this? This is a Even Skin Body Butter. And it's shea butter, coconut oil, turmeric oil, and lemon oil. So those are the three products I got. I'm more so interested in the face wash though, so I'll keep you guys updated. So all of the stuff I purchased is just stuffed in this bag here because I just don't like wasting bags and stuff. So I just bring my Rita Treasure bag everywhere. I just grabbed this white turtleneck from H&M. Um, will be included in my winter haul as well. So in Dwayne Reed, I picked up a Nair face cream. I haven't used Nair on my face in such a long time i've been shaving my face but i ran out of razors and my face is just out of control i just need i just need the face in there if you guys use this please just follow the instructions and just please be careful because it will chemically burn your skin um i don't really know how my skin's going to react to it after these many many months of not using it but you guys will see I also went into the drugstore because I really wanted to find this Nexus hair care line because I always see Hilo Lux. Um, I think she's currently working with this brand and she promotes their hair care line a lot. So I decided to give it a try. I use their hair mask, which I am a big fan of. So I definitely wanted to try the shampoo and the conditioner um, just to kind of see how that works. Um, what else I got? I also got this St. Ives scrub, not for my face, but for my legs. I have strawberry legs and I just need like a rougher scrub. I am using one from a different brand, but it's just not aggressive enough. So I need some that. And then I just got two of the Nexus treatment masks, the protein. Oh my goodness, you guys, I used this the other day. I randomly picked it up from the beauty supply store just to try it. And I was just so amazed at how my hair felt afterwards. This is the absolute bomb. This is such a good product. I don't know what the hell they have in here, but if you want to just do like a protein treatment of some sort, this is a really good product. And I believe it was two for five. So it wasn't badly priced. I was very impressed by that product, I must say. My hair felt so good in the process, and then after I rinsed it out and like dried my hair, I could definitely feel a difference. Because my hair right now, you guys, is very damaged. I'm basically just nursing my hair back to health. So I can definitely feel a difference from when, you know, it was a big difference, so yeah anyways i'm gonna just edit the vlog that you're in right now and kind of just get this up it's 4 55 p.m right now my goal is to have this up by 7 p.m we'll see how that goes i'm definitely going to have to put my phone on dnd &D. that way i can just really focus i'm also really hungry but i don't have time to eat yet because i just want to get this vlog up i feel like i can't properly enjoy a meal knowing that i have a vlog to edit so i'm just gonna get to work um chill and then just yeah th then i'll eat after and it's still too early anyways so that's pretty much the plan for the evening um it was a little, good little outing i got a lot done and yeah i feel like a lot better now i feel like a weight has been lifted from my shoulder you know because i had so much stuff so many tasks but i completed everything and that's good so all right i'm gonna get you guys up tonight so i'm gonna get to work now see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.